baked goods make just about everyone smile, but let's face it, some of us are just better at making them than others. And this week's Montana Made, Justine Stewart takes us to an unsuspecting bakery in Ravalli where one woman's donuts have people from around the world stopping in to take a bite. Gooey glaze dripping off a hot, freshly fried donut. It's a pretty mouthwatering sight, and it's something you can see and taste for yourself. If you are traveling up Highway 93 through Ravalli, make sure you look to the west. Nestled behind the railroad tracks is the Windmill Village Bakery, a place that has become a must stop on the way destination. We get a lot of tourists. This corridor is pretty much the main road to everywhere that the tourists go out here in this part of, the, of Montana. The bakery has gotten so popular that I showed up on a Monday when they are closed. Usually lines are out the door, which means there's no time to talk. Of course, things weren't always this busy. When they finished building the bakery in 2005, they started off small. When I first opened the doors, I did all of my baking in two toaster ovens. So I could fit one pan of six muffins in there, six cookies at a time, one pie. It didn't take long for customers to start asking for more. Well, what about pie? Well, how about bread? What about, so we just kind of expanded depending on what the customers were asking for, and that's how it evolved. Four ovens, one proofer, mixers, and three butterball turkey fryers later. Nancy bakes from April straight through to the end of November. Her most popular item, easily the donuts. The donuts have taken on a life of their own. They're probably the thing we're most known for are the donuts. So it was my mother's recipe. And after we had started in here, and I was trying to figure out some other variety things to do, I told Dave one day, I said, you know, I think I'm gonna do mom's old donut recipe, but I'll just do it once a week, just a few, because nobody eats donuts anymore. And then people started asking for those every day, and then they started asking for them all day, every day. And so now, once we start, once we turn on the open sign in the morning, that's all we do are donuts. Everything that I make other than donuts, I have to have done before we flip on the open sign because it's just constant donuts because we like to serve them fresh. Which keeps customers coming back, the regulars and the tourists, many of which have actually planned their stop at the bakery after hearing about it on social media. Huge, huge impact because you're not just confined, confined to the local area, it is all over. We get people that come from the East Coast, from other countries who say, we saw you on the internet. And so when we, were, we decided to make this trip through here, you were on our list. One thing's for sure, they won't leave disappointed. You know, it's easy to get a little blue and down and, and maybe a little uh, feeling like, humanity is losing some of its kindness or you know politeness and and all of that but we don't find that here at all people are just wonderful they come in they're happy they have to wait for donuts you know the people it lines up and people have to wait they're jovial and they're happy and they say no problem it's okay everything's good so you see that wonderful side of humanity again which is easy when you're good at making smiles from scratch in Ravalli, Justine Stewart, MTN News. And Justine tells us the Windmill Village Bakery takes orders for Thanksgiving pies. You can find them online on their Facebook page and website. Now,